Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk something uh, about mental health again. And then today's topic will be the dilemma of the mental health. And especially uh, pertain to a lot of mental health client is serving in this community. So why I'm gonna talk this topic because mental health dilemma has become a very important decision, not just for the stakeholder, but also for the mental health client themselves. They treat themselves with respect and they also wish the family, stakeholder, or the clinician will treat them with respect. So today we will be focusing on talking about their right and the system, how the system put into dilemma on their mental health and sometimes into uh into the jeopardy they may um have a chance of risk of losing their life due to a different type of mental health loss so let's begin uh, by talking about the model so there is a some sort of model that um the mental health condition has been used and then is an ethical model that has been um, presenting um, since the very beginning of the um, 19th century. So let's talk about the model and the value. So basically this type of mental health value is uh, built on the ethical standard for sure. And then it's a sort of like a concept, the concept, to put the mental health client um, into the different perspective. So it's more also like a principle. So this type of value is a type of principle that can apply to any mental health client. So this value also very important. Why? Because they can representing um, what happened to the significant mental health client and then what type of action they can use and what type of desirable outcome the mental health client may want in terms of when they're dealing with mental health dilemma. So there are a couple of key points that I would like to talk about today. It's kind of important and I want you all to remember if you are a family member, have a mental health client, was also uh, in this community that need a lot of support. So there are a couple of things that I want you to write that down, it's important. And then I will explain to you later one by one. So the first thing uh, in terms of dealing with mental health clients dilemma will be autonomy, okay? Will be autonomy. So basically, um, is pretty much if we talking about uh, um, autonomy, we are uh, kind of refer to their um, physical information, their physical content. So in in terms, if my pronunciation is not correct, I, I spell uh, that for you guys. It's a u t o n o m y. Okay. So basically, client uh, serve a right to have a physical contact with themselves, for sure, of course. Um, by law, they also should be able to um, be able to respect their own body, for sure. So those are the kind of important things. Um, they have a right to understand how their body function, how their mental health symptoms progress. They do have a right to um, be able to touch their body. So those are very basic, uh, the basic principle that uh, they um, have reserved those type of right. At least the client become very incompetent. They are not able to take care of themselves. Okay, and the next one will be support the client um, goes through so much so they need uh the support from community they need the support from the clinician they need support from family they need to support from the stakeholder so pretty much is literally mean that they will receive the enough support from the different government agency and then those had a support 
does does not limit to sometimes they need the extra um, income or extra support from the government. So those type of support are important because sometimes when through the mental health dilemma, uh, they may not be able to get the support they need. And usually it's because it's prevented by a uh, different type of law, um, law or um, different type of mental health law and that uh, enforce and not be able to uh, receive the support that they need. Okay, and the next one is safety, of course. So their safety is important um, if they have a caregiver who um, start to abuse them, um, they have a right to protect themselves. Their safety is important, but mostly um, it is a condition and the mental health community's job to make sure that uh, the mental health client um, is in a safe condition. So when deal with dilemma that um, interfere with law process, they will be able to uh, still get that uh, safety um, environment that they de deserve, they desire. Okay, the next one will be trust. The mental health um, client need to um, trust their clinician. They need to trust the government sector. They need to trust the community to make the decision for them. Um, of course, they do have a right to make a decision for themselves, but um, when they become a little incompetent in um, to manage their mental health sentence or their um, function of the body, if they get older, then that's when the trust come in. The trust is important because they will put their um, their whole life on your hand if you are the clinician or you you are the um, provider. So those are very important. They uh, they need to build that trust uh, with you, and then that also get involved with the mental health ethical dilemma. Participation. The client does have a right to participate in every activity either at nursing home or at their facility, uh, at their community, because the participation is also part of a uh, uh, inner circle. It's part of a, for the um, the protective layer for the uh, the client because the client does need to participate in different type of activities. So when the mental health dilemma comes into the play, um, the participation can justify that meaning to it. Then the last thing is the justice. So the client reserves a right to help themselves for sure if they are uh, cap capable of helping themselves. So that's referred to the justice. If they get abused, if um, if the uh, if a medical professional um, tend to abuse the client or the caregiver trying to abuse the client or um, the other uh, irrelevant um, personnel trying to uh, abuse the mental health client. And if there's a certain thing that interferes with their right uh, by law, um, they also uh, will require justice. They will receive the adequate justice um, they because they need to be treated equally, they need to be treated in a fair and uh, um, um, fair in a balanced way. Okay, and those justice can come from a different form of uh, different form, um, most of a, a clinical or law specialist in relating to case management. They will be able to help the client. So the, so basically, the client. That's review the client need to um, be able to have uh, autonomy. They need to be able to get support, uh, safety, trusty, and participation, and also justice. Those are the uh, six very basic stuff when the client um, facing the mental health um, dilemma. So that's it. Um, if you do have any question about today's uh, information, feel free to leave any message. If you're not clear about what the mental health dilemma is, um, you can shoot me the message and uh, will be response to your message as soon as possible. So thank you for tuning to today's channel today. Again, my channel name is The Other Side of K, The Other Side of K. Thank you so much and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.